brief to do one more round of Marvel 2003 trivia because the card was just out on its own and it, it, it just needed to be, 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 it needed attention. That's what, uh, the Grapplers were a band of female what? I, I don't know. I've never heard of the Grapplers. Yep. Don't know. Uh, I'm going to say a, a band of female um, 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 villains. Grapplers. What do grapplers do? They grab... I don't know. Were they construction workers? I mean... I have to look up the grapplers now and say... Oh, what, what, is, what is this? It's, uh, 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 the, the grapplers almost sound like... I think DC had something called like the demolition team. I, I don't know what they did. Okay. Uh, what is the dream of Professor X? That humans and mutants can come together and live in peace. What is Captain America? Well, see, the question should be, what is Steve Rogers' middle name? What is his middle name? Uh, let's just say Anthony. I don't know why Anthony just stands out there. It wouldn't be like Stephen Foster Rogers or uh, Stephen Douglas Rogers or uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm thinking of Buck Rogers. That's why I said Anthony. Because they do the Buck Rogers show too. Steve Rogers, Buck Rogers. I don't know his name. Phoenix 2, Rachel Summers from the Days of Future Past alternate reality. Member of Excalibur. Rachel Summers, Phoenix 2, unless there's another one. And, you know, Rachel Summers was always kind of confined to Excalibur. It's not that it wasn't a bad book, but it kind of lived in its own area. I don't know what happened to Rachel Summers or where she's doing or what she's about, but that's that's it. That's that's what's going on there. I'm just going to back up. I'm getting too close to the camera. I can just move the microphone closer to me instead of moving closer to the camera. All right, so that's the E. One more question here. Cannonball, member of the New Mutants before it became X-Force. And I don't know what happened to Cannonball after that. Did he finally make the X-Men? I was probably not reading at that time, but yeah, New Mutants, fine read, dense read, difficult read. Not what you would expect in 80s books. No, it is what you expect. 80s books were heavily readable with narrative and not just big splash pages. But anyway, Cannonball, New Mutants. Unless I'm missing something huge, that's where it's at. Card 148A. This is a card that we get to experience today. Remember the questions? I'm not sure I do, but let's see. So wrestlers. Really? So this is um the grapplers. Oh, well, uh, yeah. I can't believe I missed that one. Because I often don't think you're going to find wrestlers in comic books. I don't know what comic book they would have made an appearance in. That That makes all the sense in the world now. Okay. Next, we are oh, the dream, the Professor X dream, a peaceful coexistence between mutants and humans. All right. Grant. It's Stephen Grant Rogers. I, I never, ever knew that. Rachel Summers, I certainly did know. And that question is wrong. This is the wrong answer. To, I'm, I'm calling... I'm calling shenanigans on the R because Cannonball was a member of the New Mutants. New Mutants became X-Force. It's, it's, it's not X-Force. It's New Mutants. Everyone should know that. That question is wrong. Almost, jaw almost got unaligned on that wrong. That's, that's just kind of how the day went. Okay, so uh, I'm calling I'm calling shenanigans on this one. We all know X-Force came later. New Mutants is where we see Cannonball for the first time. Cannonball was a charter member of that group. X-Force. However, you know, I haven't done the show on this yet, and I got to go get it. I need to do a run-through of Rob Liefeld's Battlestar Galactica comic. I will do that soon but not today.